All right, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. If it's your first time here, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I thank all of my returning subscribers for tuning in for yet another video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Yeezy Basketball Knit in the Energy Glow colorway. Let's go ahead and get started with the box. So as you guessed it, typical uh, Yeezy cardboard box here, basketball on the top, knit on the side and as i mentioned this is the energy glow colorway and i picked this up in a u.s men's size nine and a half and we'll talk about sizing a little bit later okay so here we have it the yeezy basketball knit energy glow go ahead and comment down below and let me know your first thoughts now i'm going to be honest with y'all i was going to pass on this shoe 100 honest then i was like you know what i can't pass on it I gotta at least get it, get it on the channel because I knew my subscribers gonna wanna see it. So do me a favor, if y'all haven't subscribed, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. I'm doing this for y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Like I said, I was gonna pass on it, but I ended up getting it off the um, confirmed app and I'm pretty sure anyone who wanted the shoe could have got it um, because they sat pretty much, well, for a while. I don't know how long exactly, but it was still up there. But as you can see here, um, you've got that kind of prime knit pattern all over the upper. And it's been referred to as a 3D prime knit pattern. So you can see you've got some elevated areas right there on the prime knit, kind of all over it there, especially where the eyelets are. And it's in that kind of, I guess, energy glow colorway, right? In my opinion, it is similar to the semi-frozen yellow colorway, but this looks a little more greenish to me. Um, and it's because it's also like, right, instead of that like kind of bright yellowish green color you see, there's like a very dark kind of olive looking, or is that gray? It kind of looks gray and look, looks olive in certain lights, but there's like a couple different color, colors um, woven in that prime knit upper there. And then around the ankle collar, you've got this really stretchy black, um, you know, material here. And this one um, on the slate blue that I reviewed, I mentioned it had like little, you know, speckles of teal or like kind of, I guess, blue in this, um, ankle collar here, but on this one, it's all black. There's no other color woven or speckled in there at all. It's just black. All right. Um, also in the midsole there, you've got that kind of translucent yellowish sole there. Just gonna give you a look at that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the toe box too. So there's a better look at those colors that I mentioned earlier. See how it's kind of like a dark greenish gray looking color. All right, and then moving up from there, you've got that black um, kind of woven material where the tongue is right there. And black rope laces, of course. And this does not come with any extra laces if you were wondering. Okay. Now let's take a look at the heel. This probably looks familiar to a lot of you. Um, it's pretty much got that quantum heel cup on it and it is 3M. And I didn't mention earlier, but I don't think this has any 3M on the rest of the upper because I flashed the light at it. I couldn't really see it. Maybe it was the lighting, but I don't, it doesn't appear to have any 3M on the upper, but um, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, give you a look at the medial side of the shoe as well. Pretty much the same thing. Just want to get you a look at it. I actually think the colorway is nice, you know, but like, I think that retail price, man, was it 300 or 350? I can't remember, but you know, it's just too much for this shoe. Way too much, man. And with, I think the slate blue is a way better colorway anyway. So, you know, that's why I was gonna pass on it. But I, like I said, I just wanted to get it on the channel for you guys. All right. And I'm just noticing now that there's a little thread there. I'm not one of those people that look over their shoe and find every imperfection, but literally I just saw it right there on the back heel. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little piece of thread right there above the heel cup. That's kind of clipped right there. Oh well, just thought I'd call it out. But. All right, now let's take a look at the sole of the shoe. And it's in this like yellowish translucent sole there. All right. And I forgot, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Energy Glow, when I saw that, I thought about it. The shoe does not glow. Um, I don't know why they called it that. And then I think it was an opportunity to make this shoe even better. If it glowed, then maybe a lot of people probably would have you know, thought you know, twice about this shoe. But still, I think the retail price is too high. I just thought I'd call out that the shoe does not glow. But Adidas symbol in the middle there, and you got your boost on the outsole, as you do with all your Quantums. All right. Okay, 
Now that is the Yeezy Basketball Knit Energy Glow. I am not gonna take this out, but the insole is black and you've got that kind of energy glow, you know, green color with Yeezy Adidas branding on it. So the insole is black and the branded, branding is in that green glow colorway. All right, um, okay, so my final thoughts on the shoe. Do I think it's a must pick up? Nope, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you straight up, it's not. Um, and I think for a couple reasons, the colorway is okay. Online, I thought, once I got it in hand, it looks way better, I'll say that. But I just feel like I don't need it. At that price point, I definitely don't need it because I already had the slate blue. And in my opinion, that's a better colorway. But these are nice though, I ain't gonna lie. Now that I've got them in hand, I kind of like the colorway. The yellow contrasting on that black right there, it does look kind of nice, but like I said, I don't think I need them. But um, as far as the sizing, this is kind of a complicated one. I went with the nine and a half, the same I picked up, I picked up the same size in the uh, slate blues, and they fit good. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, be prepared for how tight they are. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, they are extremely hard to get on, but you have to unlace this, uh, the laces here, kind of loosen them up, and then kind of grab on the you know, ankle collar here to kind of force your foot in there. Once you get them in there, they're on. You're not gonna have any issues with heel slippage or anything like that. But I would say do not go true to size, it, at least a half size up. Um, I personally think that like going a full size up is not gonna be a big deal, but the toe box has a lot of material underneath here. You can see it's kind of bouncing back up when I press on it there. But um, I think a full size might be too big, so I just went a half size up and they fit. It's more of a perfect fit with a little room in the toe, but they still feel tight because of all the padding on the sides and in the toe box. So half size up is my recommendation. Okay, I think that'll be about all guys for the Yeezy Basketball Knit in the Energy Glow colorway. Um, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below and let me know how you feel about this colorway and also the basketball knit in general. I just kind of want to get a feel for how you guys, you know, or what you think about the shoe, you know? Um, that'll be all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.